So what's up, what's up guys, uh, welcome again to It on There is Manze, and kama kawaida this is your host JB. Na leo Manze, show yetu yani tunaifanya vitu fauti, leo ni kona story Manze, nita kupigia uh, my jama wanya tukone hapa leo Manze, jama na support vikubwa, na pia napenda kukupigia story kama my viewer. So remember just to keep on uh, kusikiza hii story maadi mwisho, na pia remember to follow me kila mahali, Eh, kwenye social media platforms zote na kusubscribe kwenye YouTube channel yangu uki watch hii video remember to leave a comment pia and directly we go to the story na uh, hii story ni big yani ni is a story about jama flani ni mkenya yes ah uh-huh. uh, ujama alizaliwa ma 90s okay hii kenya alizaliwa 90s uh, kwa familia wase uh, at that time yeye alikuwa second born at that time yake alizaliwa kwa second born mm-hmm. alafu alizaliwa so kwa familia wase watatu okay so yeye kuingia akakoa wanne na cheki famaika kwa four people uh, aka grow hii Kenya eh akaenda shule hii Kenya alijoin na uh, class 1 au uh, nini kindergarten hizo nursery yenye okay, tulikuwa tukiendaga akaenda uh, nursery about 202 hapo uh-huh. After ku join nursery uh, akakuwa na issues issues kiasi ya health wise yani alikuwa na some allergies and he inherit from uh, he came to understand that he inherit the nini from the mother okay. no no some allergies kiasi kiasi hivi but akaendelea ku grow to to ame join uh, nursery ame skuma life ame come back uh, ame fika yani class 1 anaendelea maisha ikiendelea kuwa akiendelea ku grow pia but sasa as alikuwa ki grow that allergy ilikuwa ikiendelea kiwase na yeah. cheki yani the condition yenye alikuwa na inaendelea kiwase na haikukuwa na otherwise unajua kama umaelewa allergies haina anga dawa inasonga yani with the time itaisha yeah. na cheki yeah. so jamaa ka grow ka grow uh, and the year 20 uh, before ni fike the year yenye alifanya his KCP Ah uh, ujama alisoma shule uh, primary alisoma like uh, is it three or four schools alisoma ya kwanza hizo nursery nini nini akakuja class one so akaingia another school that is the second school akasoma mpaka class five after class five uh, at that time anasoma na brother yake mkubwa so hiyo time anasukuma na brother yake na brother yake is four years older than him so na cheki akasoma na brother yake mpaka class five aka left akaenda another school akapigwa transfer hiyo shule nyingine yeah. akumaliza hata miaka 2 akumaliza actually the old year yeah. year this year nini class 6 uh-huh. akatolewa cause of uh, mambo na weather na allergy alikuwa nayo okay. akatolewa akapelekwa school ilikuwa nearby home but it was an academy unajua mashule zile zilikuwa mababu mababu hivi kiasi yeah. but it was a good school ilikuwa na perform poor Uh, akasoma class 7 sasa uh, na class 8 that school by the year 2013 alikuwa amefanya class 8 ya amfanya KCP yake uh, but sasa ni kurudisha tu back kiasi before sasa hiyo mambo yote life mbele ilikuwa shule class 7 oh. uh, class 6 huko uh, like life haikuwa rahisi ame uh, ana, uh, uh, the story uh, nasema uh, eh hey, yani ujamaa alikuwa anateseka teseka Eh, mambo na allergy ilikuwa inamsumbua mm-hmm. alafu uko napata most of the time huyu jamaa because of the allergy alikuwa na alikuwa na vac cap eh, akiwa shule yani mpaka mpaka time alifika class 6 hapo ndio aliacha mambo na vac cap cause mwili ilikuwa imeanza ku adapt kiasi ah uh, alikuwa akiperform poor mm-hmm. but not that much yeah. na cheki yeah. alikuwa yule mwenye walimu al, kwanza alikuwa alikuwa mvivu sana kwa sekta ya maths Mm-hmm. alikuwa chini kiasi yeah. na science yeah. <laughs> kwa chini yeah, but sasa languages hiyo eh? stuff ile tulemea kila mtu tu kwa mbaya <laughs> but sasa languages uh, alikuwa fit mm-hmm. na cheki languages uh, alikuwa anafanya fine uh, social alikuwa fit pia CR alikuwa fine mm-hmm. that is uh, akiwa uh, nini akiwa primary school mm-hmm. so this guy ame grow ame grow amefika amefanya form for class 8 yake 2013 Uh, akatena mark uh, haikufika average but alifanya vifiti 
but sasa aku register in the same school yenye alikuwa akisoma class 7 8 uh, una you know that trick uh, ile like iwe somea tu pale but tutaku register another school for yeah, exam yeah, yako yeah, na cheki yeah. so guy akafanya class 8 yake another school na he was able to be the top kwa hiyo shule alifanya Nona although akufika the nini alisomea kwa yeshu la ma alienda tu exam alienda alienda tu exam okay una ile hiyo design yeah. amenliwa uniform ali alitoka tu like siku exam anatoka anaenda ile shule anafanya exam mm-hmm. anarudi chuo yake yeye amesomea okay na cheki yeah. so aka aka akakuwa number 1 aka top but akufika average <laughs> nona no. unajua average at that time ilikuwa 350 yeah. fika 350 you are you are above average yeah na kwenda mbele. Mm-hmm. So akuweza kufika but he was number one in that school. Mm-hmm. Na aka so after your time amemaliza pepa amerudi mtaani mm-hmm. wanangoja barua ya shule ya Saika. Yeah. Uh, after barua ya chuo kukam uh, maparo wake wakuwa hawakupenda the school alikuwa ameitwa yeah. na cheki the school yeah. alikuwa selected into mm-hmm. maparo wakupenda. Yeah. So akaamua kumhasolia another school somewhere mm-hmm. aweze kwenda kucho aenda kucho huko. Yeah waka hasola sol kwa marela marela yeah that's high school sasa na ingia that, that's high school sasa um in 2014 remember ah uh, ameingia sasa wakamsakia shule wakapata school and funny thing is the the school alipata ilikuwa in the same region as the school yenye brother yake mkubwa yeah. alikuwa anasoma uh-huh. and remember at this time sasa yeah. already a eh, ashapata a sibling that is a sister Uh, from 207 up the sister is a little 207 uh-huh. so this guy kind of 2014 aka join form 1 uh-huh. uh, while in form 1 brother ke 2014 sasa ana maliza form 4 mm-hmm. um, cuz he was uh, like 4 years old right. him. he went to the brother's school. no uh-huh. the sc- a school that was in, uh, in that region yeah. oh, okay so tulikuwa walikuwa nasoma in the same uh-huh. walikuwa nasoma in the same region na leo uh-huh. um, Jamaa ka join form 1 2014 na ana, like he tells the story like ilikuwa hard sana yeah. kwanza alikuwa alikuwa mwili mdogo yeah. alafu the funny thing ilikuwa like it was a boy school uh-huh. na kukuwa na hii mambo ya unajua sasa hii like ukiingia shule una, una selectiwa mtu mwenye atakurepresent ama atakuwa kuonyesha shule yeah, na cheki yeah. at that time unajua hii kukuwa yeah na cheki mm. at that time hii kukuwa so jamaa ka join shule Ah uh, <laughs> and the funny story apo yani day ni alienda ku join shule madhe amempeleka plus the aunt eh uh, wameenda wame admit uh, so during admission after admissions actually everything clearance imemalizika fees imelipwa ah uh, it was now the time ya wazazi ku left alafu u boy so a report aende dom sasa yeah. aonyeshoni wapi atakuwa kidoz nini nini unaelewa so Yeah, when I say my two guys came uh, one of them was a form 4 and another one was a form 2 at the time okay. uh yeah uh, no as a, yeah was a form 2 at the time uh akakuja so u jamaa yeye ameshika mattress eh acha yeye ameshika mattress yake na box and the other guy if uh, the form 2 guy amemsaidia kushika kuchukua do yeah the form 2 guy amemsaidia amemsaidia kushika box the other side alafu the other Mayam guy wa form 4 uh-huh. ametembea na pail uh-huh. na cheki ametembea oh. na ndo uh-huh. so ndio watatu wanaenda dom uh-huh. na peleka this guy the form 1 guy to the dom wa munyeshe so jamaa amefika hivi kwa gate ya dom cause ansema that in his school dom ilikuwa separated with the fence and the gate uh-huh. uh, from the school compound so ameingia hivi Uh, and that and that time ilikuwa imekuwa ma afternoon hivi so guys were going for lunch yeah. so time moja mama ingia hivi kwa gate yeah. the guy wa form 2 alikuwa anamsaidia ndio kubeba box yeah. na yeye ameshika mattress na box yeah. so the form 4 guy alikula kona yeah. na ndo <laughs> na cheki yeah. yani on the admission day yeah. uh, yeah. <laughs> jamaa ameingia hivi anando but aje notice aje notice eh yeah. <laughs> uja mama form 2 hasa ashampeleka yeah. amempeleka mpaka place nyia atakuwa kidozo mnyonyesha eh. mm. so uja mama ku notice sasa anando akauliza ubo eh nimekaa na ndo lakini sioni yeah. ati ha usijali hiyo kai imeenda utaipata tu lakini for today and uh, the coming weeks 
eh unaweza kuwa ukitumia yangu naweza share ah kasema ni sawa so for mtu alikuwa rada yake eh yeah, alikuwa rada yake ah uh, uh, ujamaa kaelewa uh, and uh, sijui hata alielewa aje cause ina ka difficult man yani mm. siku ya kwanza na mali ishaenda bana acha iki kitu important inabidi jioni kifika uende ushao uh, <coughs> jamaa ka sorry for that uh, jamaa ka wakaenda na huyo jamaa akamkubalia waka, akamwambia utakuwa ukitumia my my pill uh, life ikaanza amechapa shule form 1 mm. amejoin amesoma fiti amesoma fiti but still akuanga jamaa alikuwa mshap sana dar yeah, yeah, yeah. alikuwa ule mse yes alikuwa mse anapenda kusoma but yeah. akuwa sharp okay. unajua unaweza penda kusoma yeah, but like yani you know, still you're yeah. not like ma nini haikukubali content inakata uko slow eh uko yeah. slow in kushika well, vitu zingine yeah, yeah. so yes jamaa ameingia form 1 2014 amechapa 2014 vizuri uh, ameenda home mahafta mnini closing life ya shule imeanza kumadapt na yeye ameanza kuadapt na life ya shule kwanza ilikuwa a, a way, a, like ilikuwa a place that is far away from home mm-hmm. na cheki it was like almost 42 kilometers or at more than that yeah. ilikuwa far ilikuwa another region yeah. na cheki mm-hmm. jamaa amechapa form 1 2014 ame ameenda mahafta ama amefunga shule nini ame make friends already mm-hmm. ashajua vile timetable ya shule inaenda una cheki mm-hmm. yani ameanza ingia system mm-hmm. uh, amepitia life yote you know as a mono mm-hmm. ile kwa mwisho wa morning na mafunfu ama mapiri wa mwisho muende moshe do nini dining hall nyindo wafanyikazi wa shule nyindo wafanyikazi wa shule wanaitoa wheelbarrow wa shule at that time ilikuwa anga hivyo najua saa hii hakuna saa hizo watoto so saa hiyo wase wako si ndio wako fit sai so jamaa ameendelea na shule 2014 mchapa form 1 2015 akaingia form 2 vizuri tu no compromise no I like akuwa na issues mingi ati lazima akuwe na nini aliweza ku reach that target ya kumeka ingia form 1 form 2 I mean e eh, wanasemanga form 2 ndo shule ando sana nasemanga za form 2 ati hapo eh. asa ndo shule na sasa sasa ndio hiyo eh so hata form 1 haikuwa na issue sana ya kusema ati tutacheck grade ati ndo uingie form 2 eh. si ulikuwa tu nakubaliwa unaenda actually wote waliingia eh. So this guy has a form 2 that is 2015. Mechapa mechapa mechapa. But sasa kufika form 2 unajua hapo ndo mzaa anaanza janjaruka sasa. Na cheki. My events anakumbuka eh. Nikafanki mahali. Na cheki. Wale wasenyo wana watch najua wanaelewa all this story. Eh mafanki sasa ndo zimeanza kutokea. Na cheki. New staffs amanza ku learn vile anaweza iba food eh vile anaepa vile anaweza ipa kufanya job za morning zenye anapewa na cheki vile anaweza ipa yani zile viboko yenye angela kulala vile unaweza enda ulale yani unaweza sneak kwenda ulale na mafom 4 ndio usifukuzwe naona so the guy has some from 2015 amechapa shule form 2 vizuri amejanjaruka akaingia the school wakaleta a band brass band as mm-hmm. yeah, when nikisema brass band mimi najua unaelewa cuz mm-hmm. when msa mziki mziki yeah. like kulikuwa na a band walikuja na trumpets nini nini yeah. so jamaa ka join and we became a member of the band mm-hmm. aka wakakuwa akicheza like, like the band of the school ama yeah, ya shule sasa uh-huh. ilikuwa shule like the prince ali bai Uh-huh. it said that the principal alikuja aka alikuwa approached by someone uh-huh. akaweza wakaweza kununua those staffs uh-huh. na waka recruit watu uh-huh. na wanasema like the so guy from outside the school plus the students ama ilikuwa to band no, ya students ilikuwa ya students only okay yeah so the guy uh, the, the principal wanasema that he hired waliandika someone a trainer uh-huh. from uh, salvation army uh-huh you know salvation army in the church yeah who are nafanya those stuffs mm-hmm. so aka aka akaandika guy to be the train of the of those uh, students akuja akawa train u jamaa me join shule and at that time wanasema that school was the only school in the region in ilikuwa na band mm-hmm. so you can imagine the gigs enyo alikuwa nazo yeah, na cheki yeah. the events enyo alikuwa naitwa hadi na county na sikia. like the guy ansema county ilikuwa ikiwaita mm-hmm. during the holidays mm-hmm. inawalipia food inawalipia transport yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. ati wanakuja wanabebwa na government vehicles so the guy ameendelea na ame join band 
anaskuma eh, gavai na county government inawasaidia pia wakiwaita funky wanapewa ka kitu wanadishwa lunch transport everything mm-hmm. so it seems this guy aka akapotelea kwa hiyo vitu yeah. naona a concentrate sana hasa na daro mm-hmm. akaanza kuwa in much focus into that stuff yeah. mm-hmm. naona cause ni, maybe ali notice ni kitu yenye ni, ni kitu yenye anapenda yeah, passion na cheki yeah. so akaanza kuweka daro kwanza okay. ikaanza kumsumbua yani mm-hmm. uh, the same from two kakuwa na drama fest ni nini nini na the drama group kuona that the school has a band mm-hmm. they took the advantage of it yeah. naona no, mm-hmm. uh, they did a, a, a skit a, a nini a, a drama mm-hmm. na the band was included mm-hmm. and the uh, but not all the nini the group ya bandiote mm-hmm. it was just a few like four people now this guy was lucky alikuwa included to the crew mm-hmm. or maybe unlucky si hezi elewa yeah, yeah. so this guy amengia drama from two and back home au yeah. elewi kenye inaendelea na cheki au anajua mtu yeye anasoma unaona au ana issue hata akipigiwa simu au anajua tu wako sawa the guy aka kaingia drama but sasa at that time uh, vilalingia drama wale wachukua time ya regionals mm-hmm. walikuwa kenda regionals competition na kumbuka ilikuwa inafanyika hapa LD yeah. ilikuwa inafanyika at Chebisas boys nasikia mm-hmm. uh, according to the story so this guy amekuja wameenda drama uh, ampelekwa na shule wameenda regionals wameenda ku perform skit yao wamefanya vifiti kabisa na wamemaliza wametoka na wakaomba principles at, the, at that time uh, they were not like drama za ziko zimeisha mm-hmm. they were walikuwa second mm-hmm. after like the second day sasa yeah. na drama ilikuwa na take place for days uh-huh. so wakaomba the principal of the school mm-hmm. wakubalie waendele ku watch the other skits the other schools oh, for the, uh, for the remaining day, uh, uh, the other the other the remaining two days So the principal anasema aliwakubali only one day. So the following day after they finished yeah let's say leo mm-hmm. the following day uh, wa, wa watch so the day after the following day mm-hmm. the fourth day <laughs> the fourth day sasa ndo yeah. walikuwa toke sasa hii area mm-hmm. na warudi chuo sasa. So the guys wakasema ah ni poa wakarudi to their village mm-hmm. eh, the village like the place in Kwa Kidoz uh-huh. no, wakarudi waka doze. the following day wakarudi wakaenda ku watch the skits of the other schools mm-hmm. but sasa the funny thing or the bad thing ili happen hiyo siku uh-huh. kulikuwa na from two guys and some from four guys and from three guys uh-huh. walikuwa in that nini akukuwa na from one alikubaliwa ku drama that uh-huh. so from two from three and from four So uh, some characters like th- only three or two people mm-hmm. missed everything koyo mm-hmm. koyo days walipewa yeah. uh-huh. at these guys were come wa kwenda unajua at that time people walikuwa na ile hype ya so in the ile time ya kwenda kukatiana umeelewa mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. eh yeah. sasa so, ndio ile ba time ya kuonesha this cool what yeah. we are made of mm-hmm. na cheki kwanza vile ni boys school na ile so guys were kind of can work cook na ati wakabai pia tei cheki yeah. wakabai yeah. drink yeah. wakakuja waka mix yeah. and they went to another a, a girl school yeah. wali sneak ama wali sneak but yeah. it's not like sneaking because yeah. it was open na cheki okay, okay. the guys when wali kwa na uzo hizo staff walikuwa na wanaingia kwa gate wanatoka yeah. so at this guy uh, the school uh, those other uh, two characters or three characters waka buy your stuff mm-hmm. na wakaenda to a girl school mm-hmm. wakaenda wakalewa mm-hmm. kalewa mbaya sana yeah. then to mess it up kabisa yeah. these guys waka rudi ko hall uh-huh. the hall enyasa the event ina happen here mabwa mbili eh yeah. wameenda ndani hivi wakaanza atikupiga makelele uh-huh wampiga nduru huko ndani hadi wakaitiwa sasa maskari yeah. masanse wakaitwa uh-huh. and uh, wakatolewa yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and at uh, this time yeah. uh, siku si kwa nimesema this guy alipiga home yeah. uh, simu akambia na niko ld mm-hmm. what are you doing in eldoret mm-hmm. and tumekuja event ni nini nini okay. so like the parents wa kwa wakakasirika ndio but yeah. waka waka wakamkubalia cuz already yako pale mm. already yako pale atafanya nini wakamsukumia ka kitu mm. 
దగ్గర కెండలే పాలే వాలే వసవ మెసా aqua part of that team. aqua part of that team in wali mesa naona the guy alikuwa with another team wameenda mm-hmm. kwa bus yao oh. hawako interested sana na kuocha ama nini mm-hmm. walikatu kwa bus au walikuwa wale wa kukatia na through the windows wacha oh. ikiona yeah. itadem through the window bad boy eh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anajita bad boy lakini hakuwa yeah. na hiyo hakuwa yeah. na hiyo character yeah. so wale wasonyo mesa hapo aka mess up everything uh-huh. wakakuja wakasema like the the committee nilikuwa over the nini that drama festival okay. wakawa ban na wakawaambia they have 45 minutes mm. to exit wasingishu region mm. like the loret county uh-huh. wasingishu county 45 minutes uh-huh. what okay county that was the yeah. fourth day yeah that was no uh-huh. that But was that, the third day sasa oh, the third day Peo. we stay yeah okay enyo mapewa uh-huh. Kambio mkona only 45 minutes mtoke Eldoret you're not to be seen around here again yeah. like at the school bus ilitwa hivi principal ampigiwa sh- simu shule yeah. your guys have messed up and like look at these guys are still drunk manze ile mbaya wasa yeah. <laughs> kabebo akaiko kwa bus na bus ikatoka yeah. kwa Wana village village eh wana rudi village ku collect their mattress whatever yeah. and go back to school yeah. So these guys who are kuja ame bebo ampele kwa shule wa mfundi. Na things back at to uh, back at school like kwa fiti because already the principal had gotten the, the information ameboeka. Because alikuwa anajua maybe those students watafanya the vizuri cause pia yeye alifanya fema. But the guys messed up. Kurudi shule ati vitu zilienda zika change. They were banned that group yote hawakuweza kubaliwa kuendelea endelea na na drama mm-hmm. yani wamekuwa band yeah. but the guy anaendelea kucheza kwa band anaendelea na mambo yake shule mm-hmm. amerudi kusoma na akamaliza form 2 that 2015 mm-hmm. so ameenda holiday the uh, the form 2 holiday sasa the final ya kumaliza form 2 ameenda holiday mtaani mm-hmm. but sasa 2016 as expected arudi for form 3 akurudi the same school akaenda kapeana excuses nyumbani kuhusu hiyo shule nini nini yeah. so akurudi wakamtafutia another school yeah. <coughs> and funny thing maskianga saying nyo na semanga is to west home is best yeah. the school alikuwa made at the time alimaliza class 8 yeah. is the school that ali join after kutoka the school enye amekuwa yeah. na cheki yeah. so alirudi nyumbani and uh, the school ilikuwa it was a day school a mixed school mm-hmm. na ilikuwa day school akaingia uh, that school wakaenda kujaribu kumwombea mm-hmm. uh, ku, kuingia the class the form form 3 sasa mm-hmm. but the academic teacher of that school akamwambia that uh, I think you the same uh, the, the next form first thing is grade yake ilikuwa chini haingemkubalia mm-hmm. second thing is space in that form 3 haiko inatosha mm-hmm. so the guy had to repeat form 2 mm-hmm. no 25 2016 akarudi ya form 2 akapiga form 2 now form 2 things changed in that school akapata na na guy and this being a nini a public school and a day school mm-hmm. ilikuwa very yani ilikuwa mbaya yeah akapata na jamaa akamfunza mambo na drugs mm-hmm. acha mm-hmm. so this guy akaingia drugs akatumia drugs for some time mm-hmm. and uh, there is a time <coughs> a girl she was dating he came to realize that the day nya lipatikana na kujilikana that is using a drug mm-hmm. alikuwa anatumia drug i think ilikuwa inaitwa ilikuwa inaitwa kuber mm-hmm. i don't think kama umeisikia hey, kuber ni umeisikia yeah, si ndio <laughs> si ndio <laughs> so the guy aka wakajulikana and the girl at that time alikuwa girlfriend wake uh-huh. she's the same girl mwenye ali report uh-huh. about the issue uh-huh. so ye na the, the the friend his accomplice mm-hmm. was suspended in, indefinitely no no like the case ilikuwa kubwa sana yeah. wakakuwa suspended very yani for a long time mm-hmm. at wanasema walienda home like almost uh, uh, maybe three weeks or two weeks mm-hmm. before the end of the term mm-hmm. so walienda home before fanya exam no wakakaa home about another one month and a half kid uh-huh. 
naona for example yeah okay. story story of drugs ilikuwa huge sana au mm. alipigani ilikuwa issue kubwa which had ili, ilibidi waende rehab but the rehab ilikuwa like home going like ilikuwa ile kama day schooling unaelewa mm. uh, like umaiona the aviation guys or the army guys from maju mm. wakitoka anga hiyo mambo yao wanakujanga wanaenda hiyo kwenda kuongeleshwa na psychologists mm. na check in mm. the hiyo 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 pictures of that yeah, yeah. what happened in the in the war mm. so the same thing ilikuwa to this guy he had to go for a rehab na the, the people wenye walikuwa wanafanyia that nini rehabilitation and whatever psychology whatever wa people that were chosen by the school uh-huh. kwa mechaguliwa from the county uh, county district hospital of that play of that region nanya alikuwa so everything was being monitored by the school were they were they in, were they in the hospital today did they did they report this week like the school was up to date at all times so akaka the two of them akaka home for about one and a half months and uh, life ikakuwa ngumu yeah. and this guy came to realize that in your easy v2 and bad companies si fit and a uh, good thing with this guy is that he is a guy mwenye akiona something bad na ana accept amefanya ana rectify na ana rudi back to the tracks ile nye anajua is this is the right track for me to go So after one month and a half wa karudi shule mm-hmm. wakaenda kufanya kesi it had like it was a very long story uh, drugs mm-hmm. but he was able to overcome mm-hmm. no, no. Mm-hmm. but his his friend actually his best friend mm-hmm. i can say alikuwa his best friend akuweza ku overcome that fully because he was into it for a long time more than this other guy mm-hmm. uh, so he akuweza ku overcome fully but he came he came back alikuwa better yeah. unaona mm-hmm. like unajua during rehab nasikia wanaambiwaga kama uwezi acha fully mm-hmm. try and use it minimally yeah. like reduce the time when you unaitumia mm-hmm. usitumie quantity mingi ukifeel utakuitumia uh, utakuitumia use something else that haitakuharm mm-hmm. mwili wako yeah. unaona mm-hmm. so wakarudi shule this is term 3 mm-hmm. of form 4 form 2 form 2 form 2 wamerudi shule wameingia class wamerudi form uh, form 2 term 3 wanafanya entrance exam entrance exam sasa and the funny thing is these guys vlat walikuwa home these other guys sasa mwenye the, the story i'm talking about akuwa into much of kusoma nini nini alikuwa ile kusaidia na home cuz pia back uh, home uh, maparo akufurahi yani yo that's obvious because mm. you know whatever happens like mzazi ana expect yake ilipa school fees so some mm. and everything should be perfect back at school mm. but wazazi wakufurahi that story mm. but they came to accept na wakam wakam wakamonyesha the right way pia mm. no, na at all times walikuwa kitajika hosi walikuwa naenda nao mm. no, na. so hiyo time yote akiwa mtaani aku akisoma yeah. but the funny thing is hiyo time walipewa entrance exam ya third time mm they did well and this guy alisema ali notice that comparing to how he was before mm-hmm. i was suspended indefinitely he saw something better like he saw he was better than mm-hmm. he was mm-hmm. recently or in the past Bye-bye. so waka perform vizuri wakafanya form 3 form 2 wakamaliza form 2 third term vizuri wamerudi shule mm-hmm. akaingia form 4 form 3 form 4 life inaendelea fiti But at this time still I did notice that his girlfriend mm. his girlfriend mm. they alim report about the issue no I yeah. did notice back from 3 they are dating but I did jua now coming to form 4 ndio ukweli kakuja kujulikana no na and uh, it's funny that unajua for any person that I expect wataachana si yeah. ndio mm. obvious because how do you report me man say how do you report me na I'm your, I'm your, I'm your guy yeah. So uh from for kama kajua about the story how it went how it happened nani alinishtaki but akumwacha they stick together wakafanya form 4 vizuri like walikuwa hadi deskmates yeah. they were deskmates na cheki hadi class ilikuwa inajuaga 
they are dating no na so how kwa shame dama nini yeah kasi kuma form 4 vizuri they did their form 4 exams in the same school kcsc na life ikaisha hivyo high school mm. <coughs> now they came out this is 2018 now mm. doing the kcsc exam mm. wakafanya kcsc wakatoka but the guy didn't perform vizuri sana pia mm. but uh alitoka na something yani najua ukitoka high school na kongo umetoka na sense unaelewa mm, yani everything in your hiyo shule ama life vile imekufunza yeah, yeah. na umetoka hata kama umefail but umetoka na sense so akakuja home and uh, the dad akamwambia aka i don't want anybody mwenye anakuja kaa kwa mlango bila kitu ya kufanya mm. so what you do you better go join your brother penye yako mm. naona like say I'm a big brother come mm-hmm. be better go join your brother Penyako this is 2018 mm-hmm. uh, like two weeks or three weeks yeah. after exams come be we end up with your brother you go enda tafuta sasa uone sasa maisha so the brother alikuwa wapi the brother alikuwa around the regions too mm-hmm. but he was in another region uh-huh. he was working somewhere alikuwa a student uh-huh. and pia alikuwa na so anafanya some uh-huh. hustle okay okay so aka jamaa akakuja wakaenda wakaishi na bro wake. Uh-huh. That is 2018 wakaka pamoja. Wamesukuma life. Ah uh, 2019 I mean, I mean 2018 November uh-huh. akapata job kiasi. Uh-huh. A relative akawapea job. Uh-huh. Around that the town of that nini region. Akawapea job wakaenda akawaka. Akafanya uh-huh. 2019 vizuri. At uh, this time aka join college. Uh, joining college that uh, same ad- about february 2019 aka join a college akafanya a course ya mass communication naona akachapa life ya kole akachapa life ya kole uh, 2019 december cause it was a certificate course akafanya exam yake remember this time ako hustling ako shule so already this guy shanza on the life iko naona ako like uh, is it 20 years at that time yeah 20 years yeah 20 years mm. at that time fanya mm. kole 2019 december fanya mtiani akamaliza and came back to hustle sasa cause uh, at this time parents walikuwa na siblings wengine wawili already mm. and these two needed to go to school na cheke na life ikaanza kuwa hard mm. mambo na corona ikaingia mm. na cheke mm. mambo na corona ikaingia so the guy aka decide let me put a pause kwanza kwa masomo kiasi not that stucky yeah. but let me put a pause mm. pia ndio Masomu. my parents pia was poor wana distress sana mm. unacheki at this time pia the big brother amemaliza uh, ni Nicole alishamaliza by the alishamaliza mbele yake mm. so what wa ku hustle sana wamerudi ground wakaamua mm. let let's hustle pamoja mm. na maparo at least wa kuna hiyo break ya kusaidia hao wengine kwanza Yeah, they come up and na roots zao zishike yeah, yeah. i check yeah. so life you can delay 2020 the same thing they mm-hmm. pushed uh now 20 2019 december kabla nifike 2020 this guy akapata girlfriend mm-hmm. another oh, one and uh, yeah mm-hmm. this another one okay yeah. kumbe nimesahau still... they had broken up at uh-huh. 20, 2018 uh, like uh, before even december uh-huh. uh is it 20 no 2019 So almost guys, february march they broke up they with broke the, up with the, the, the lady when you were at high school. school that is about from 2 from 3 from 4 okay that's like 3 years uh-huh. i check it they broke up uh-huh. uh cause of some issues uh-huh. obviously uh-huh. so 2019 up december december november i got someone else uh-huh. and this lady was uh, she was also also hustling uh-huh. around that time uh-huh. uh, they catch up aka kwa mabeshte and things led to one thing led to another they became a boyfriend and girlfriend and uh, they came they came to this they stayed together okay she pamoja that is 2019 2020 and life can be there so at this time you can imagine this guy is living with a girl and uh, that is now at 21 years yeah 21 years so already this guy shaanza kuona vile life iko na cheki yeah. akasukuma akasukuma and things ikaenda tu pole pole like life ikaendelea mm-hmm. so this guy karudi kujua that enyewe life haikuwa that easy as i thought wow. na vitu nyenye nilikuwa nikifanya mm-hmm. 
I was doing it like yani I had no sense siko najua nini nilikuwa nafanya so this guy akarudi chini akakuwa vizuri kwa familia akakuwa kijana mpoa home and uh, life yake ikaendelea hivyo maana hadi today as we are speaking the guy anaendelea ku push though uh, you know as life we go yeah. sai hard na so, jua lazima ukuwe na some mm-hmm. challenges mm-hmm. but the guy is still pushing na cheki mm-hmm. anaendelea tu kusukuma and the story yani this guy story yake na jua yezisha mm-hmm. being 2021 mm-hmm. akifika 2030 the story it like itaendelea na atakuwa maybe ame move that atakuwa ame move much na cheki yeah. so Uh, najua say manzee umekuwa mkita kujua ni nani huyu tunaongelea sana and the story who are covering, uh, covering the story about and uh, before ni wambie tu <laughs> who, who is this person or is this character tulikuwa tunaongelea about today kwa the story i uh, want us first to go and watch uh, the segment that you all love that is jenga biz manzee tunataka kujua this week theo my co-host alikuwa akijenga bizi ya nani this time so let's go and check it out what up what up my people it's your boy Theo akashire mazee kama kawa kama dawa tuko kujenga biashara show ni show jenga biz eh mazee nimeshinda nikisema show jenga biz ama sijui ni show biz Sijui kwa je, ukoje lakini kufiti man. Kufiti mwanze. Sina maana. <laughs> Before tuanze wazee bucha pia wasewe ni nani. Ah uh, mimi naitwa Richie. Mhm. Eh uh, hiyo ndio jina watu wanajua kuna hapa streets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so guys, uh, tuko hapa hivi kujenga biashara ya Richie. Mm-hmm. And uh, wazee unafanya biz gani na una uko na McLeod hapa hivi? Ah uh, asimu na uzalitu hapa malebo na cheki uh-huh. malebo tu. Uh-huh. Ah thrift shop na tunajita smart labels tunajita smart labels yeah, tunakuanga wawili lakini boys wangu sasa hai yupo lakini angekuwa tu kwa kwa shop pamoja na amepotea kidogo amepotea yeah, kidogo lakini angekuwa tu yeah. si tunauza tu drip eh ma label sana sana unaona yeah, by the way na muko muko tu mmefocus na label yeah, pekee yake label tu yeah, yeah. umesema umesema nini yani na jita smart smart label smart label mimi yeah. kama project na hiyo jina ni jina tu kama up nayo unajua ibiz uh-huh. tumekuwa nayo alafu sasa <coughs> tuko kama up na jina zini tuliona watu wengi wanatumia nini thrift shop nini ma thrift trend hizo stuff sasa unajua <laughs> kusema thrift thrift shop kuna wasa thrift shop ni shop ya kuza nguo za mtumba eh yeah. sasa unajua thrift shop na kusema unajiita thrift shop unaoza nguo za mtumba tu kila aina uh-huh. sasa smart label si me specify mko tu specific kwa label kwa label mko na specific label ama mko zote tu label zote tu zote zote luxury unaona baze madai mko na ma vya tukali kali hapa hivi normal normal hizi ma J4 ya Jordan ya ma J4 zinaitwa black cut. Hii ni J4. black cut. Nyeusi sasa jina pia lazima uko converse na majina za hizi ma lazima si ndio? Eh. So nimeona by the way wasiwaki complain pale hivyo wanasema kuna Jordan za umbo wake. Unaweza differentiate aje. Sasa hiyo unaweza differentiate na nini? Sasa unajua kuna zile umbo wake, umbo wake ni zinaonekana anga tu. Kiaje sasa? Azi umbo wake ni unajua kai Jordan uh-huh. leza kuja tunaona sasa J hapa unapata uh-huh. imechorwa design nyingine uh-huh. unapata huyu jamaa amefura dumbo eh hiyo tu unapata ati huyu ndio amefura dumbo yani yeye amechorwa so at least label label yenyewe unajulia the the the, the branding yeah, the branding itself. na nini na quality ya kitu sio oh. quality pia ah mzee yeah. hii coffee tea yeah. Eh, pia naona mnauza at least manguo pia. Eh, manguo pia za label. Eh. Yeah, so What's the difference? Kuna iko na difference? Difference za uh, as in quality nini? Eh, quality difference kabisa na eh. eh, quality sana. Ju ebu pricing, pricing yake ni hizi malongi za 500. Eh. Uh, so uh, kitu kingine nilikuwa nataka kukuuliza ni bro. Mm. Ndio ununue kwanza kiatu kama hii. Mm. Hii kitu sijui ni, ni 45 if I'm not wrong. Eh 45 si ndio? So mzee ulianza je hii kitu? Kwanza sasa biz eh uh-huh. ulianza je biashara? Hii last year sasa unajua ile time ya covid. Uh-huh. Mwalimu shule mzee 
gavana when to uh, 2019 uh, tulimaliza shule sasa gavana nzee naye tulimaliza <laughs> last year i mean lakini sasa uh-huh. yote ya covid ndio tulikuwa tume break oh. tukae tukakuja sasa home sasa kuka home naye ndio aka nyumbani hakuna kitu nafanya eh yeah. kona ni kama kona hiyo ndio the, the right opportunity eh uh, 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 mimi na ule best yangu tukama to come up na ibiz oh hebu be jina best yako uja tu ndio anaitwa kavari kavari watu wanamjua sana kavari oh, uh, pia alimaliza last year eh uh, tulimaliza wote so, last year muli come up tu na this idea kama bia idea jo nyenye sahi uh-huh. kenya manze kupata youths kupata kazi <laughs> kwa office so by the way hiyo time uh, i remember uh, watu watu walikuwa wanavutwa kazi nyinyi uh, mnaji self employ eh uh, sasa hiyo time sasa niliona ni opportunity ju ya kuanzisha ya kuanzisha kazi nyinyi yeah, corona ilifanya watu wakatoa pesa eh uh, ikabidi <laughs> <laughs> kila mahali watu alikuwa anajenga eh hapo ile mkamuli ya biashara so oh sorry so uh, generally ni yenyewe imekuaje umesema ulianza last year ilipikaje sasa unajua kila biz na marketing kitu ya maana ni marketing sana kwa biashara mhm uki market biz yako fit watu so, watakuwa na bora unauza vitu quality na watu ndio mtu akikuja kuja uh-huh. unao umempiga service nyingine safi ana wenyewe mse hiki ni kitu kali plus by the way ni yako ni something unique si uh, ni unique sana uh-huh. atoka hapa akienda kaambia best anaambia best yake anaambia ni hivi na hivi kuna mse uh-huh. uza mali safi safi so unaona sasa hiyo connection na grow build hivyo uh, ndio una grow uh, me build sasa nimemaliza kama mwaka mmoja na miezi mbili sasa eh yeah. uh, yeah. uh, so did you get the support from the parents ama ni kitu eh yeah, nilipata support kwa madhangu especially nilisaidia sana eh yeah. mm. maze uh, if there are some parents watching us this uh, maze ni poa ku support uh, the dream of your children is fanya unajua sometimes uh, parents wana kazi ya kitu then unashtukia maparomu mmefanya kitu mnataka badala ya mtu hii kufanya kitu yenye anataka mm. so hiyo ndio my parents wanafaa kufanya hivyo si ndio manzi wanafaa so, support ma <coughs> eh, okay mother question ni uh, siju una dress gender gani nikaa nimeona ma viatu ma vitu ni za maboy sana ama eh, gender ni specialize kwa wanaume lakini uh-huh kuna kadhaa za madem na zanga mara moja mbili oh so yeah, za madem ni kidogo hata hata masnikas pia madem wanavanga wana va- by the way so wana wana ni kaa ni yeah, something for what ni uni, unisex pia na zanga <laughs> madem ni venye tu sasa kwa manguo kiasi ndio maboy bora mwamulia maboy boy child unajua sasa maboy amajoe mwenye unaelewa address yeah. code ya boy child <laughs> Eh leo ana najua fashion yenye watu wanapenda na test. trending things na eh. test. Eh. Ah yeye iko fit mzee. Ana najua kuvana pia vijana <coughs> wanafika ngabei wache. Mm. Ah iko sawa. Mm. Alafu eh, what are some of the challenges yenye uli face? Ama chenye una face? Challenges. Mm-hmm. Challenges ni kibao unajua tu kwa biz lazima kuwa na challenges zake sasa zingine business za kuwa slow mm-hmm. sasa nyingine ni kupanda kidogo slow in the way that uh, ukiwa peke yako ama as uh, ukiwa yani kuna time yani mambo is so ngi una check kuna time mambo <laughs> tunakata eh mambo inakata lakini <laughs> kuna ngoja end month ndio watu waanze kununua nguo <laughs> mambo inakata lakini pia na kubalingi <laughs> sasa nyingine wa check hiyo ndio form tu uh, but anyway hiyo ni hiyo yeah. ni poa sana wow. sasa uh, mimi nitaka uangalie hiyo kamera mm. na nataka uongeleshe my youth wenye wako huko nje mm. eh wale wenye wanaona life is all about uh, vitu zingine different life ni something to ebu eh, nitaka tu aongeleshe ongelesha vijana pale mimi nazambia tu my youth pale nje manze wasifanye mtu afanye tu kitu nyenye yeye anajua anapenda passion manze kwa kitu naweza drive naweza drive vitu mingi sana unaweza unaweza songa mbele sana ndio ukipenda kufanya kitu kwenda kufanya kitu pia hiyo drive tu itakuwa na kuona amka tu kila siku asubuhi anasema naenda kufanya hiyo mimi napenda kufanya utakuwa unaangalia pesa sana lakini juu unapenda hiyo kazi hiyo pesa itakaa mtu hmm. hiyo pesa inakaa mtu so guys venye mmesikia uh, mazee if you are youth na uko pale nje you don't have to wait uh, so that you can be employed by somebody mazee kuwa mjanja just be self employed look look for something i can allow funny so you guys uh, you've seen uh, what uh, this guy has richi mwenyewe so maze come shop eh tukimalizia malizia shop pale hivi atatuambia mali yako located so uh, bro my last question to you drug has been a challenge for my youth oh no nadi 
kenye drag manze eh mimi nimesumbua nimesumbua my youth song unajua hii ni topic kwa say uongopa kuongelea kwa za nikaa kila mtu ameingilia sasa unajua pia ina drugs manze ina vutanga msesa zingine nyuma mhm hiyo pesa ungetumia kufanyia kitu kingine unaenda unafanyia mambo mengine za kuona sasa hapo unakuwa una juice tu so hiyo hiyo ni kitu tunaambia wase manze ni juice tu tu tupunguze mhm tuwezi waambia waache si tuache waacha kuacha takwa noma takwa trick eh wapunguze na mtu ajue venye anajua atajipanga tu na hizo ishi yeah unajua wase wanafaa kuishi wanafaa kuishi ki, ki si, unajua ra, ra, watu watapiga ra sijekata lakini sasa drugs tupunguze kau eh, kau unaona tumia punguza tu kiasi eh hiyo pesa nyingine upeleke mali invest kwingine yeah <laughs> maze guys you fun mm. uh, tukimalizia show at least uh, tupe social media handles zako the place mali ni yako shop yako iko located so that at least Yes. Mse pale inja anezaangalia. Social media Afiki. ni at smart labels. Nini? Instagram at smart labels. Smart smart underscore labels underscore. Alafu eh tuko TikTok pia at smart labels. Eh na location tuko located Eden Center, Eldoret Town. Eh first floor room F10. So guys that has been my show maze uh, thanks for all guys uh, when you mna watch let's come support maze kumbuka tunajenga biashara ya mse maze let's support one another um, I was your host Theo Kashire my social media handles are Theo Kenya on all social media platforms So welcome back guys that has been the segment Jenga Biz Manze and thank you so much for always watching that segment by Theo and uh, tulikuwa tukiendelea tu tukiongea about the story and we wanted to know ningependa kuwajulisha ni nani tulikuwa tunaongelea about this story pia my nini hapa leo aku anaelewa my director yeah. ailewi ni nani tunaongelea and uh, that person to be honest that is your host JB hey, the baby. full story <laughs> <laughs> the full story is about me and uh, that's it i have nothing much to talk about manze nimesema leo ni share about myself itakuwa fit pia nyi mkijua and um, as always pia tuko na segment nyingine kwenye show manze uh, ni the top two hit songs ambayo tumepitia uh, with our director with our producers the camera persons wase wote tumejua tume decide ni nani wawili bora eh, kwenye top 2 songs of the week na leo Diamond Platinums manzi leo tunaenda TZ number 1 eh, Diamond Platinums amefanya some uh, collab with a uh, vocalist Mapara these are my piano song iko na some type of beats ya ki South Africa ama piano something uh, inaitwa Io you go out on uh, to YouTube and check it out pia tuta link video hapo eh, tutaeka link ya video nyewe kwenye Black description a uh, pia tuko na Otile Brown featuring Darasa wanasema KO TikTok hey. you know a very good song manzee unakimbia yeah. pale YouTube unaenda kuiyoch na pia atakuwa tume link our uh, the links of the video uh, kwenye description yetu guys so that has been the show for today manzee nimefurahia sana kwenye umeza ku watch the show and much much appreciation to the team and you make make the show successful uh, including you who is watching this video remember just to follow us kila mali kwenye social media platform zetu remember to subscribe to my youtube channel manze ukiweza ku watch this video and always remember manze share comment usisahau ku comment i reply to all comments enye unatuma manze and i appreciate kabisa so until next time manze remember to keep it safe keep it eat on there is <laughs>